Today, we are making wax melts. I have to do a little restock, so I gotta bring you guys along. We're gonna do three different techniques. One is gonna be a solid color. Another one is going to be like a splatter technique. And then third, I'm gonna use mica to color the wax. So, this one's gonna be very easy. It's just gonna be fragrance, a little bit of candle dye, mix together, and I'm gonna pour it into my mold. So, the fragrance oil that we're gonna use is buttermilk pancakes from Nature's Garden. It is absolutely bougie. And if y'all wanna know what I mean by bougie, go check out my TikToks. I actually do kind of like a review thing on my fragrance oils. I call it booty, or no, excuse me, I call it bougie or booty. And it's kind of funny, so go check that out. Link in the description box below. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so this is gonna be a solid color. It's just gonna be like a light brown, brownish color. So let me go get my wax and I'll be right back. So I have my fragrance oil in my wax right here. I'm gonna mix that up really good. Then I'm going to go get my color and my pipette. should be good. I don't want it a super dark brown, but if it turns brown, it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. And as you can see, my wax is pulling on my spatula, which is a good sign. It's getting to a good temperature to where we can pour this. You don't want to pour your wax too hot or it's going to stick to the mold and it's going to crack and look ugly. And you don't want to pour it too cold or the backs aren't going to be sharp either. And then you have to use your heat gun and kind of make a mess and get it all nice and flat again so let's see that looks like a just the right color and then we're just gonna pour I don't pour all the way just yet. I wanna get everything into the mold first. then you're not gonna have time to do it later and it's just gonna be a hot mess. And the tricky thing is, you kinda have to get to eye level with these to see how much more you need. And for this particular container, oop, get those bubbles. No bubbles. Oh, come on. There we go. That's fine. So with these containers, because this metal stays hot or stays relatively hot, warm, whatever enough to where I can still see the wax moving. I just go in there and wipe it down really quick and I'm on to my next color scent. Wax melt, that thing, you know? Very important. And I know I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Don't move this until it solidifies, until it's opaque and it's no longer shiny. Don't touch it. 
Oh my goodness, it will create such a mess. There's nothing in this world that's steady enough to move this out of the way. So I'm gonna let this cool down. <laughs> Trust me, I found out the really hard way. Uh, I mean, like I said, I should have known, but you gotta learn sometimes different ways. I'm gonna let this cool down. I'll bring you guys back for the next wax melt. Okay, so while this one's cooling down, I'm gonna start working on this one. Then we'll get to the splatter wax melts. So with this one, I'm going to use Tahitian teal to color the wax. It turns into a beautiful teal color. It makes my heart sing, as my daughter would say. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorites. If you have watched any of my other videos, you know that I use this one, this color, the most. So, yeah. Then we're going to add, um, you know what, and it, it pains me to do this. But we're gonna add glitter. It doesn't pain me, honestly. It's just a pain to clean the molds afterwards because the glitter tends to stick really well to the bottom. But it's worth it. The look, gorgeous. Just take a moment and appreciate how gorgeous these glitters are in the mold. Aren't they pretty? Oh, the shimmer is just insane. So the fragrance we're going to use for this one is Beach Cabana by Flaming Candle and very fruity, fun summer scent. I keep this one stock year round. I I would like to say I keep it stock, but it's hard for me to keep this one in stock because it just sells out as soon as it hits my store. It's good alternative to, you know, watermelon because a lot of times when people buy a watermelon fragrance oil and they try to use it in soap, it actually seizes really bad. So this one is a good alternative. Get a little sample, try it out, tell me what you think. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> So I have my wax and I have my fragrance oil in here, just mixing that up. So now it's time to add the mica in there. And a little bit will go a long way. A little bit. Look how pretty. So I used about half a teaspoon for my 10 ounces of wax. So one of the key things is when, when you're working with mica in your wax, you want to make sure that the wax is cooled down enough to where the mica doesn't sink to the bottom of the mold, top of the wax, if that makes sense. So just kind of sit back and enjoy the show. It's so super pretty. I could honestly sit here all day and just stir this. So when things like this happen, there's a little spillage on the edge. It's not a big deal. It honestly cleans up really nice once you pop them out of the mold. So for the splatter technique, you're going to want to portion off a little bit of your wax. You want to color this, then you're going to basically make a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dye this purple. 
because this is going to be for my luscious lavender wax melts. And I'm using a silicone cupcake liner. I suggest you use something a little bit thicker to protect your hands from the heat. I'm just used to the heat, so that's why I'm using that. That's a good purple. So basically, make a mess. that I color, but it's fine. If this happens, what you can do is just save this for next time and just melt it down and reuse it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this to the side and let this completely cool down. Finally, last set of wax melts. We have already done the splatter. It's already cooled off. Now we're just going to add our fragrance or our wax, uh, the rest of the wax. So Here's a sticky situation when it comes to doing things like this. I have no idea the exact amount of wax I actually splattered in there. So I'm gonna have extra wax in the main part. That's okay. It's just gonna be a little bit of wax and I get to keep it for myself. No big deal. Or I get to give it to my mom which she's gonna be extremely happy. Originally, I was thinking of just doing a solid white base against this, this splatter here. But I'm thinking I'm going to do but I think what I want to do is a swirl technique on top of the splatter. I think that's going to be amazing. Let me get everything together. So I have my wax. I have my fragrance oil in there. I'm going to mix this. And when it cools down a lot, I'm not exactly sure the temperature, but when it starts to solidify on my spatula here, I'm going to actually do the drop. Uh, color drop in it. My, I'm a soap maker, so I keep wanting to call it an in the pot swirl. And technically, that is what it is, but not in the wax world. Okay, so mind you, the term will come to me eventually. If not, I'll leave it in the description box and in the title. Honestly, it's driving me bonkers. <laughs> it's okay. I'll remember it. The swirl. The swirl of something. So when you're doing this particular technique, where you take a toothpick, you dip it in your dye, and then you kind of poke your wax and just kind of let the dye do its natural things. Um, you want to be careful with temperature because if you do it too hot, it ends up just blending right in. And you don't really want that. You want those stark contrast of the dye and the wax. It's going to color the wax some. That's okay. But you don't want it to just disappear. And like I always say, if it happens, it's okay. I am just a messy person. Oh, and the fragrance oil that I'm using is Lavender from Candle Science. I don't buy too many of the fragrance oils. I'm not a big fan of, of them. However, that lavender they have is mwah, just amazing. It's so strong and it, it has lavender, but it's not the only fragrance in there. A lot of times when I find a lavender at another fragrance place, I'll buy it to sample it, but it's always like powdery floral. And that's not what I think of when I think of lavender. I think of like earthy, like rich tones. And this, this one does it for me. The lavender itself is the fragrance oil. However, in the fragrance oil, they mix a bunch of essential oils in it which gives it that just that wow factor i suppose so it's starting to solidify a little bit on my spatula i'm going to keep going just a little bit more and at this point you're going to want to stop stirring i just caught myself you have to stop stirring because the wax still kind of moves around even after you stop uh, stirring it and that's going to mix up your your dye in there more and if that if that's what you want that's cool that's not the look I'm, I'm aiming for see when I, I used to use small pyrex measuring cups and it would cool down quickly the glass would help pull it down and it was a bit of a struggle because as soon as my fragrance all hit my temp my wax temperature dropped and it was really hard for me to pour these 
wax melts and get a nice clean uh, back like right here. So when I got this, it was amazing. I'm able to pour more accurately with this. However, it retains heat so good. So for me to do techniques like this, I really have to plan ahead. Because it's gonna take me, take this a bit to cool down to temperature. Or I just might get impatient and just go ahead <laughs> and put the dye in there, which I'm probably gonna do. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. If it turns just a lavender, that's fine. If it does what I want it to do, that's cool too. Just like there's a whole theme of this video, right? So I'm gonna take a toothpick, okay? I'm gonna put it in my dye, like that. I don't want much. That is a good amount. And then you just go boop, 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 boop. Try to go. And honestly, I think that's good. I don't want too much. Because if it does end up just mixing, it's gonna be a nice contrast of light purple versus dark purple. And it would just be very pretty. So now, without stirring, without moving the wax too much, I'm going to pour. And I'm going to try to get as close to the mold as possible. So once this has solidified, I'm actually gonna pop all of these into my dedicated freezer to chill them, to help get them to release from these molds much easier and much cleaner. Hey, if you have a question about anything I've done today or just a question in general, please leave it in the comments section below. I'll be more than happy to answer you if I can. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching.